This looks pretty similar to a previous problem we had. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, this is a real doozy. And this makes me very thankful that I have Newton's second law. We have two masses, M1 and M2, that have the same mass, one kilogram. And um, we're asked to figure out the acceleration of the system. Now, notice that there's friction here, where the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.5 between the surface of M1 and the tabletop. To find the acceleration, we're going to use Newton's second law. So I'm going to write that the acceleration is equal to net force over mass. Now, what is the net force on the system? Well, we have the weight of M2, and we have the force of friction acting on M1, and this would be a force of kinetic friction, because it's sliding. So the net force, then, would be M2G minus Fk, because these two forces are opposing each other. And isn't Fk equal to mu k, the coefficient of kinetic friction, times the normal force on M1, which is just equal in magnitude to the weight of M1, or M1g. We then divide this by the total mass of the system, which is M1 plus M2. This quotient then gives us the acceleration of the system. So M1 is going to accelerate to the right, and M2 is going to accelerate downward. <clears throat> Let's do the numbers. So the acceleration then is equal to M2, which is 1, times G, which is 10 <clears throat> meters per second squared, minus mu K, which is 0.5, times M1, which is 1 kilogram, times G, which is 10 meters per second squared all divided by M1 plus M2. So in the numerator, <clears throat> we get 5, and in the denominator, 2. So we get an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. Now, the tension. The tension is internal to the system. However, if I isolate M2 or I isolate M1, then the tension suddenly becomes an external force. I'm going to isolate M2. Okay, so if I isolate M2 and apply Newton's second law, I have here net force is equal to MA, where the net force now would be M2G, which acts downward, and tension, which acts upward. So I have to sum those two, but since they're oppositely directed, we get M2G minus T equals the mass of the system, which is now just M2, times the acceleration, which we know to be 2.5 meters per second squared. So now we solve this for tension. <clears throat> so the tension then is equal to M2G minus M2A, or M2 times the quantity G minus the acceleration. So we have 1 times the quantity 10 minus 2.5. So we have here 7.5 newtons. Notice that the tension, 7.5 newtons, is less than the weight of M2, which is 10 newtons, and that makes sense because you need a net force downward. <clears throat>